We welcome back to Atomic Heart. We got the door here Citizen. that we're gonna what a country um, that we're gonna unlock. What a country, Anna. And he's already talking, so I'm gonna solve that in silence. I wholeheartedly agree. Over the last decade, we've made magnificent strides in science and technology. And that's it. Thanks. Thanks. What an intro. God, I hate those puzzles. God, it's just a square. It's just a square. Boom, 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 Thank you. Now let me get in here. Ah, ambience music. That's where the boss fight, boss fight was. I'm already can talk. Oh, right. We need to talk when we got ambience music. Right, guy. Oh, no. An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. <laughs> it's a phase. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. And, well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. <laughs> okay, good night, buddy. You seem a little bit malicious. <laughs> hey, let's get let's get going. Get her arms back. Um, um, um. Dead bodies all over the place. He got crushed by that little thing. Or the weak link. I've looked up upgrades for my guns and apparently missed a lot already. Which is cool. Some upgrades I will never get now. This way. So we're gonna go this way. Me out of here. That's just the way back. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. I don't know. We could just kill him. There are a lot of hand symbols in this hand themed quest. Wait. Oh god, it's one of those dudes. Well, let's just loot for one minute. A meshing R1. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't comp complain. It's good loot. Also, I salvaged a big. Electro weapon. I don't know if that's a new feature since the update just downloaded. The update has been downloaded. I repeat, the update has been downloaded. I don't know if I can get this game finished before the next let's play starts with scars above. But I definitely will finish this game because it's cool. It's cool. It put us hell from time to time, but cool. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. Drive him over. 
to try some trade. Uh, we can. Dead. Well, at that rate, I'm never gonna get finished. <laughs> yeah, hey, fix the shirt. What the hell is wrong with him? Hey, they made him a very polar shirt, that's worse. Poor guy. Of a two dose robot. It would make me wear a polar shirt. Nah, man. Disgusting. Run, dude, run. I would just take the arm. You wanna Fuck die? That. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. Oh, that's new. Hold this for me, would you? I thought they're friendly. Here's a spit up. Spinning alcohol at me. Not cool. Damn, he has a lot of health. Oh! I just wanted to take a screenshot and he completely read it too. Uh, the wrong direction of my screen. So I got an empty office now as a screenshot. To those robots, if you a polo shirt, man. Good guy. Uh, listen up, everyone. I took a look at some recordings of your tours. Uh, why are they so boring? Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada, yada, yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Young pioneers, octopus. You gotta keep them entertained. Yeah, watch this. This is Robot Graphic. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, he kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? Uh, you know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, Fading I don't know, something else. Make the tours fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. I don't know, they're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. So the saving buried all. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Okay. Annoying robot lady, please, here. No, oh, I don't need to. How does it work? It off. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Oh boy. 30 faults. Multi key activated. Ah. That's something that could kill someone. Cups in Jones. Now what? Oh. Damn, Thank you creepy. for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, no. comrades. 
and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Ugh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What Charles the fuck? Darwin. What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent oh. the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Oh. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock. Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Oh. 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 Charles Darwin Awards, Awards, the Charles Darwin Awards, which are dying for stupidity. Look it up, look it up. It's the most stupidest deaths of the year, so. Ah, uh, duo? No. Chess music. Interesting choice, robot. Ugh. Damn you, creepy. Working with children. Uh... I just picked up a radio and Drop the get <laughs> Okay, that's all I had to do. Oh, that's all I had to do apparently. Review. Damn, the reviews I get in my company are handwritten. <laughs> Nobody can read them. Nobody can read them. I picked it up. Yeah, hammer. Then knew it. No, oh, no, almost too easy. Too easy, girl. With something more difficult. Like a capture, catcher, puzzle, or however they're called. Oh, I'm definitely a robot. Look how heavy I am. Oh, damn. <clears throat> It's strange, but the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. That's all he has to say. You mean the flowers? Flowers? Oh. Give her flowers. Yes, I got it. Okay, thanks. Some robot. No, he bubbles on while I'm gone. So, about the starving test. So... About this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer! Tool of working men. 
The sickle peasant's friend, the many-pointed star they praise, and with their lives defend. <sighs> yeah. Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. I can hear it. It's copyrighted music. I'm 90% sure. Mm. More silent. More silent. Sorry. Sorry. Stream mode doesn't work. Yes. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. That's all it is. Shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have oh, a memory boy. leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Oh my Call God. it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. <laughs> this whole oh. thing is just monstrous. The we robots shattered. must have completely lost their minds. I've lost my mind already. Oh boy, the, the robots sure love torturing me. The hell is this? Oh, flowers. Flowers. That looks like a deadly robot. Okay, I can turn the music up again. Ah, oh, streamer mode does not work. Not at all. That music sucks. Robot. Oh my, would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a it's noble gonna come goal. Alive. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like Just... a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush uh, and up. dismember. Hurry up. No, I don't need a tour. I just hurry up, girl. And this one. It just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. 
You God. do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh, oh my. my. That's God. a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh my God. Terminator. Oh, come oh, on, keep I on moving. Envy you humans, you can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible, monstrous mustache off. But this oh. one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to. Oh, well, let's change the subject. Oh, my God. Keep on moving. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones oh in God. black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. Oh, I don't think I'm she my is. Way, comrade. High heels too. Damn. Damn. Let's hurry up. Don't talk to the thing. Oh, God Ooh, damn it. who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. Because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? They already attacked me. They already attacked me. The... Here we oh. are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. What? That is what? Oh, what the hell? Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have what? very delicate internals. Oh, what? what just snapped? Relax, oh. bot. That's my joints cracking. What the hell is this? Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Please never. Ever look at me again and don't talk to me. Can I please save so I don't have to go through it again? Saving data. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, no way. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstations. Okay. So we can fight stuff now. And uh, repair things too. Oh god. Another underground bunker. Damn, how long is this game actually? Seems like it's 
quite a land. Oh, hey, boo. Booby boo. I got my axe back. The, the weapon. The weapon. The fire axe. That axe is definitely on fire. And eyes, I guess. And eyes. Um. Why is this spooky music? Just spooky music. It definitely would kill me. <laughs> oh, and the balls. Take that robot! <laughs> oh! What a clean swipe! Oh yeah! Oh god, it's gone already! That song was cool. Ah, I don't wanna go there. Those robots just freak me out. I'm gonna miss loot again, but me. I wanted to die today. You are dead. Didn't see that coming. Well, did everything go according to plan? Qualia and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one. Not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was worried. What? Was she? Damn! That just killed the mood. Oh, hey, dude. You camping? <coughs> Damn you. <coughs> Damn you. stuff again god damn oh wow a room I can go into oh 
a surprise. Ugh. I don't like that. The spins. Just another talking corpse. Oh look, we got one of those things. Um. Okay, this is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome. Come closer. Be not afraid of my power. What the f- Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the all seen. I used to be a simple archive worker, but now I am omnipotent. I see everything. I know everything. And everything. 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 Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What is this skepticism? Sergei Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. She can access all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex? With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Can you prove it? I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. But I guess I could indulge you for amusement's sake. What do you want? Shall I tell you about your missing past? All the kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever. But what would be the point if you can't even see what's going on right under your nose? <sighs> That's quite a load of something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would you? Will I? I will. <laughs> I could open all doors, both in the past and the future. Behold, open up! Ah, 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 ah. Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. I guess you can think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of myself. She sure was a useful lady. How'd she find out about me and my mission at Vavilov if she never left the VDNH? That is a trenchant observation, Comrade Major. And a very good question. One that I have no answer for. Of course not. Okay, okay. I want a thumbnail here. Yeah. That might work. Okay, I guess this part is over. I got enough torches for robots and oracles. Especially oracles, that were torturous as hell. Yo, thanks for watching and peace out. If you like.